YouTube, what is good? Benny Matthews here. Thanks for checking out the channel. And today, my fellas, we have another fallen soldier, man. My boy, Soluminati, cut off his locks. I don't know why. I All I remember is I was on the Instagram and then I seen this. So, of course, I swiped up, had to choose the little mountains. And I see the video that Soluminati is bald. Oh, my goodness, man. We're about to react to it. I didn't even not watch the video yet. I wanted to share this experience with you guys. If you guys follow me or Soul Luminati, man, hit the like button, man, because we're about to react to Soul Luminati cutting off his dreadlocks, man. Like, how, how could he, man? But I don't know, man. Let's roll that intro. Let's get right into the video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Now, I got a question for you guys before we start the video, man. Where are all my lockers at, man? Where you guys at? Locker gang, locker gang. Let me know in the comment box down below, man. Put the lock emoji down. Let me know that you part of the gang. Hit the like button, man. Because, yo, I don't even want to say no more, man. I just want to get into the video. You guys know who Soul Luminati is, man. He has two YouTube channels, man. My man always rocked the do-rag with the dreadlocks. That's why I got I got the do-rag going right now, man. Representing Soul Luminati. But um, I guess he cut off his dreadlocks, man. And, um... You know, it's it's unfortunate to see, but, you know, let's just see what he has to say, man. Let, let, I, I want to know his thoughts. I want to see why he did it. Let's get into the video. Dewey's all in the building. Hoodie's all in the building. Guys! Guys! In the building. As you guys know, I got the lock a gang, lock a gang from Gazer Gazer. It's, yeah, it's out there. The secret's out. I, guess, I think some of you guys already knew, but let's keep going. Was good with... Oh, <laughs> Yo, he geeked up. <laughs> he geeked up. I just cut my hair ball. I cried too. Ran no lie. And I should have never cut my mustache. I got it. I ain't ate pussy in like four years, but my and I'm gonna grow my beard out too. <laughs> my man said he cried when he cut off his locks. Man, he needs to, you know, grow the beard. You know, I'm not gonna repeat what he said because you know the YouTube be hacking people's pages. You know, but uh, <laughs> my man crazy. And my best self, man. It's like, let me tell y'all this. After ten years, I just cut my dress. All right. I feel like I released a lot of anxiety or something like pain and baggage and like bro i got cars clothes i got everything i fucking want girls see my hair they don't care they gonna let you fuck regardless Ooh, facts my g facts on facts man yeah i, I told you I, I made a couple of dreadlock videos about women and uh, my experience with women and my dreadlocks. I'm, I'm gonna make more videos about that, man. If you guys want me to explain about my experiences with women and my dreadlocks, let me know in the comment box down below. Out of everything I want, millions of fans, millions of subscribers, I was still high and shit, bro. Mm. And we in a world, like, they want us to be so fucking perfect, bro. Ain't nobody perfect right. in here. Everybody trying to get their bodies done. Everybody don't want to accept. They don't want to accept themselves. It's like they programming us to hate ourselves because everybody want to be perfect. So it's making the motherfuckers that see them on a regular basis. Like if you're on social media 24-7, you're seeing people that's living perfect lives. Ain't nobody lives really that perfect behind closed doors, bro. It's like, you know, Matrix. They fucking with y'all stocks. Man, speaking of stocks, man, who's in the stock market right now, man? We had a crazy week with GameStop, AMC, Nokia, BlackBerry. I'm very heavily invested into the stock market right now. I've been uh, investing for the past like three years, and uh, when I usually usually when I watch YouTube, I, I I watch a lot of financial education YouTubers. You know, all they speak is money. That's usually my go-to. But let me know if you're into stocks, man. Maybe I make make a video about stocks sometime. I just cut my hair bald. I got the Kobe. Look how small my head is. Kobe. Rest in peace, Kobe. I got the Kobe, and I want you to know: it's no such thing as being ugly. As long as you love yourself, accept yourself. 
Be free. I feel free as fuck. I feel free. Accept yourself. Love yourself. People gonna treat you how you treat yourself. I'm about to be a fucking meme. I already know. <laughs> but I, I'm I'm so happy that he knows that he's about to be a meme because yeah, bro, you are. You are. Let me show y'all this. Oh. When I I think he cut him off himself. Like he, he cut him off himself. What? I first listen when I first did it. I cried, but after a while I felt a sense of relief. Like I released a lot of like pain. Like I feel good as hell right now. I'm actually smiling, I'm happy as fuck. Let me show y'all this though. Ooh. <laughs> I just Yo No No Yo! Went all over my shit. Just let it all go, man. You gotta let go to grow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, he is cold. He He's doing this on himself, too. He didn't go to no barbershop. He's really doing this by himself. Oh, he's a cold. Excuse my elbows, that's tough. Let it all go. Let it grow back, man. It will. <laughs> no, no, first thing first. I'm looking outside, it ain't no Yo, he is wildin', but he, he's true, man. Like, it will grow back. And like I said, if he wants to, he can just reattach the dreads. It's not a big deal. It's been done. You guys seen it. It's been done plenty of times before. Son, my bald head, I got a white nigga head. <laughs> my, so my bald head got to get some sun. But overall, I feel like I got a different glow about myself now. Like, I feel like my teeth whiter or something. I don't know. Do y'all see that shit? I look, I look exactly that shit. My overall went up to a 99. I want y'all to know it don't matter how y'all it don't matter how you look at all. It don't matter. It don't matter if you think you ugly and all this weird. It don't matter. You can do and be anything you want as long as you facing your shit. Get out of your comfort zone. Y'all been fucking with me for this long and I have never showed y'all my hairline or none of that shit. It's stuff about me. I had everything I want. Millions of fans. Y'all accepted me for who I was, but I still wasn't good within myself with myself. I mean, so him saying that, I, I like, I feel like I personally already knew that all of his photos, he has something on his dreadlocks. And you guys know, I wear, I wear things on my dreadlocks all the time, too. And I have no problem, you know, showing my hairline. But I've seen pictures of So Illuminati before and his hairline. And I guess he just didn't like his hairline. I guess he didn't like himself. So him cutting off his dreadlocks is like a, him releasing just feeling just so much weight just off of his chest man because he felt like he doesn't have to hide no more he is who himself he is who he is and he is himself and he loves himself and i yo, I, I love that man i really do love that about that now i feel free i feel like i left a lot of, I, I i let let off a lot of weight and girls never cared about my hair you know they don't they're gonna let you fuck regardless females don't care how you look these days man i go off with the energy it's all about your energy and how you treat yourself. Why you think you got singers like Lizzo? She was like a play cleaner with all the Hall of Fame badges. But she is she Lizzo. She's <laughs> <laughs> But listen, what I'm trying to tell you, you got rappers like Kodak Black. Like look at Lil Baby. I ain't gonna lie, Lil Baby ugly as shit. The nigga ugly like glowing. Lil Baby is Lil Baby. It don't matter how he look, he's little baby. You get what I'm saying? I'm just trying to use people for example. I got the Kobe, I got a bald head. Do it matter? I'm still the same nigga hoodie so in the building, do he so in the building. I'm about to go outside and get some sun. I just want y'all to start loving yourself. And I want y'all to know, I went through a lot of stuff when I was a kid. I went through a lot of trauma, a lot of pain with my hair. I had a lot of hair loss. I went through a lot of crazy stuff when I was a kid that only my family know about. 
And little did I know that stuff that I went through was impacting me to this day. I didn't even know. I've been turned into memes and shit. So it's like I accepted wearing do-rags and hats and all this shit all the time. I'm going to start doing videos with my bald head. Simple. <laughs> anyway, y'all. Uh, love yourself, man. Take care of yourself. Be free. Who cares, man? It don't matter how you look. Just be free. Accept that shit. Accept your flaws. All right, y'all. I'm out, man. So there you guys have it, man. Solomonati, yo, he cut off his dreadlocks. Uh, my final thoughts about this. And uh, my man Solomonati went from being stuck in the Matrix to becoming Morpheus, man. My man Solomonati, man. Yo, man, but um, I definitely agree with him, man. Be yourself, man. Your dreadlocks, at the end of the day, you still, you know, you, you just love yourself, man. Dreadlocks cannot be the ultimatum when it comes to how you feel about yourself. Yes, my locks are cool. My locks are great, but yo, I'm not my locks at the end of the day, man. I'm actually going to, I'm going to make a spiritual video about dreadlocks, man. Because I honestly feel like, you know, your dreadlocks has nothing to do with about your, your spiritual journey. But it can be, but then it can't be. But, you know, nevertheless, yo, I'm proud of Soluminati, man. He did this for himself. He has everything that he wants in the world. He has the subscribers, the money, the cars, the woman. But he still wasn't feeling love within himself, man. And to see him, you know, just to step in this new realm of this world that, he, you know, that he's in right now for himself, it's beautiful, man. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment box down below, man. Do you guys agree with Solo Minati cutting off his dreadlocks? Do you agree with his purpose, his um, overall goal of cutting off his locks? Let me know, man. Let's have a discussion in the comment box down below. And until then, my name is Vinny Matthews, and I'm out.